All right, guys, coming to you from the shop. Want to talk to you about something new that we're doing. Um, we've got this new hexagon scanner and inspection arm. This thing is absolutely just too cool. What we can do with this thing is take the 3D scanner, scan stuff, then make it pop up onto the computer screen. And what we're going to do is actually take and scan this Turbo 400 case and an MP205 transfer case, but the MP205 has actually been shaved on the top. So like that's a very unique product and then just all these little dips and fillets and facets that comes on a transmission housing like there's not really a good way at all to really turn that into CAD. But what we can do is we can take our 3D scanner, scan this thing, and it turns into real data that we're putting on a computer that we can take and then import into our CAD drawings for building chassis around or whatever else. So this is something I'm gonna show you the process today. Brant and Jason are gonna jump in here, move this thing, set it up, scan it. Uh, we're gonna record how to go through all that process. But like the big thing is like really realize that we're taking a transmission housing that we really it couldn't draw effectively any other way and a really custom transfer case that would be very 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 time consuming and we're going to scan this stuff have real correct data trust it to be accurate that we can drop into the model of a chassis adjust the chassis around or build mounts for it or whatever else we see fit so a hexagon arm it's uh this is, this is one of their bigger ones we ended up with. It also has a probe feature where if you're machining and stuff, you can use the probe feature to actually do inspection with uh, bolt location and, and widths and all kinds of different sizes and everything else. So it's a pretty cool arm. It's kind of state of the art, but it's a service that we're gonna start offering to people. So the new rule is, is if it'll fit in a UPS box and ship to us, Ship it to us, we'll scan it, ship it back to you, you get a CAD file of it. It'll be a STL file uh, with no solid geometry or anything like that. We're not reverse engineering. You can handle all that at your firm or whatever else, but like it will be the scan data of the thing. We're gonna do it starting out at just regular shop labor rate, but this is something that we're gonna start offering to people. So it doesn't matter what it is, that's the thing. This is not just limited to off-road stuff. This is manufacturing or artsy stuff or just whatever if you've got something you want to turn it into 3d data and it'll fit in a box that a ups will carry bring it in we'll scan it and get it back to you so awesome these guys are fixing to get started move this thing and get it set up and uh start scanning you guys are going to watch the process it's just it's cool
All right, guys, so guys in the back, they scanned the Turbo 400, 205, and they scanned the Corbo seat. You watch that. So what I've got, I've got a chassis that I've built before that we used an LS Turbo 400 and an Atlas in, and we used an Alpha seat from PRP. So really tight combo. I'm wanting to make sure before I start and build the chassis that the Turbo 400, 205, and a Corbo seat that the customers got will work. Um, I'm really ready to start putting this chassis into more of a production thing. And I think I've got a hunch that the engine and transmission and seat combination that I used before is pretty specific. Um, I think I may have to stretch the chassis. So I want to just put this stuff into real time and see if that's the way it's going to be. So... Here's what you're gonna get if you were to have us scan something or what we scan it. And you can just zoom in right here and see that, man, it's just a whole lot of uh, just little bitty triangles and stuff. And it's called the mesh. So it's a STL version, but you can kind of see that, that shape right there. But whenever you get it down, we click over here and render it, man. So yeah, there's some holes and stuff in here and you can, we could really spend a lot more time on the scan and get all that stuff taken care of. But just like for a, for the reference that we're going to do, this is absolutely perfect. Um, now I used to think whenever I was talking to about buying a scanner that I would have to have a solid model of something to draw with it. And that's absolutely not the case. A lot of times this STL mesh is all we need. Uh, we'll take this mesh convert it over, put it into the file, and line everything up and just use it as a placeholder. But you don't necessarily really have to draw to that. The only thing that we would have to draw to this is, you know, a few mounting holes and stuff like that. So if we wanted to, we could come in here and really lay down some geometry right here on those mount holes, and that's what we'll do to build the tranny mount and stuff like that for this build. But you don't have to come back and really reverse engineer or solid model this. You just really need this for a placeholder. So... We're just gonna take that thing, drop it into the model and get, get going. But look at all the detail that is into this, that if you know anything about CAD drawing, all this would be so hard to do. And absolutely, it would be really hard without some other technology behind you to make sure that everything was as accurate as what it is here. We've, took, we've taken these and really put them into space check the measurements on them and we've not found anything with any kind of variance at all it's dead nuts give you a copy here's the seat now we've got the corbo seat that you saw them scanning open uh if you've never tried to draw a seat it seems like something that's really simple and it's in every buggy but if you've ever really tried to detail draw one it's a bear uh they're they're hard to do it and it's really hard to get accurate so what we've got jump in here and we've got this so yeah there are some holes here and there in the scan but honestly for what we're doing this is absolutely 100 percent fine uh and then now we're about ready we're going to drop this and the turbo 400 and 205 into the drawing and check the clearances that we were looking for okay so i've got the engine in this chassis that we built LS engine. I know that the placement on that's correct because we've already built this thing once before, but we ran it with an Atlas um, and that Turbo 400 in a different seat. So, took the Turbo 400 205, lined it up in here, and you can see, even though it's not a solid model, it's that STL file, I can still see the pan's going to clear all my chassis tubes down here. The seat's in there. I backed it up and got a little bit of clearance, you know. Got the clearance right here that I'm looking for. But look right here. This is what I thought. Yep. That seat absolutely comes back further than the frame rail. And the headrest hits where my other one did not. So I took a few minutes, come in here, made another file. New tube work, 
stretch things out where everything looked in proportion and where I needed it to be. But now we've got clearance on the back of the seat in here. Man, this seat belt hole is a lot lower than it is on the Alpha, so I'll have to do something with that. But it's the little things like even this tube, just moving this notch a little bit right here, knowing that that seat tab was going to be in that area there, now I've got a, a clear spot before whenever it went truly to the node, it was right in the middle of that tab. So I'd had to cut that tab off the seat in the shop. Now I can absolutely know. So to wrap this thing up, what we've covered here is we can make an STL file and drop it into a solid model and work with it um, with the level of accuracy and detail and stuff that you can come up with by scanning it and turning it into an STL file. Man, you can just really know what you're drawing around. And that was always a problem with me. I've drawn forever. Um, but whenever you don't know that you've got all the parameters in the drawing that you're really working around, it makes it hard to trust the drawing all the way through. Uh, with this thing right here, man, we're, we're able to really trust everything that we've got. The data is there. The data is correct. So we're offering it as a service. Give us a call if you're interested in having any of your parts done or anything else. Send them in to us. And, uh, hey, I can't wait to get this thing together in the shop and cut some metal and burn it together.